I strongly feel like Duduzule Zuma is not going to escape this particular one. We'll be talking about this particular lady in this video. So please do all to stay glued and do watch the video till the very end. So like we earlier said, we'll be diving deep into a very hot topic here in South Africa. And of course, it's actually concerning a former president Jacob Zuma's daughter who goes by the name Dudu Zuma Zambudla. Well, we'll be talking about this particular public statement that she actually made expressing her distrust in the NPA that is a National Prosecuting Authority. Well, this particular issue stems from the recent leak of an affidavit by Matozzi, the former chairperson of the now defunct VBS Mutual Bank. Well, like we earlier said, this is what we'll be uncovering in this particular video. Well, to better understand the current controversy, we need to revisit the VBS Mutual Bank scandal that actually took place a couple of years back. So, it was actually in the year 2018 when South Africa was rocked by the revelation that over 2 billion rands had been looted from this particular bank, leading to its collapse. The bank was actually a key financial institution for many municipalities and of course lower income individuals, making its downfall particularly very devastating. High profile individuals and politicians were implicated in the scandal, sparking a significant public outcry. Well, among the key figures was Matozzi, who was actually the bank's former chairperson, and of course, he has been at the center of the legal battles surrounding the case. So, let's actually talk about what Matozzi is alleging right now. Matozzi, who is actually or currently serving a prison sentence, made a very explosive claim in an affidavit that has further embroiled the scandal within institutions in controversy. Well, he, it was actually leaked to the media that alongside his involvement, Julius Malema and of course Floyd Shivambu were also accomplices in this particular crime. Well, this particular leak has raised serious questions about the security and integrity of legal documents within South Africa's judicial system. Believe me, it's very disturbing, like how exactly did such a very sensitive document make its way to the public? Well, I strongly feel like someone intentionally leaked it out. Well, let's talk about the reaction made by former President Jacob Zuma's daughter in this particular case. Well, the daughter of former President Jacob Zuma, who is actually called Duduzule Zuma, took to her social media handle using the hashtag, hashtag the citizen news to voice her lack of confidence in the NPA's ability to conduct a thorough and impartial investigation into the leak, where well, she stated in quotes, The NPA has repeatedly shown its bias and inability to act without prejudice. How can we trust them to investigate something of this magnitude fairly? Well, it's almost very clear that this particular lady's comments reflect a broader sentiment of distrust in South Africa's legal institution. Well, the NPA, for its part, has reiterated its commitment to a thorough investigation. Well, NPA spokesperson Sipongwema emphasized, in quotes, the integrity of our legal processes is paramount. We are taking the leak of Mr. Antodzi's affidavit very seriously and will leave no stone unturned in our investigation. Well, that's actually what this particular spokesperson had to say. Well, despite these assurances, critics like Zuma Sambudla remain skeptical. They are actually arguing that the NPA has a history of selective justice aggressively pursuing some cases while ignoring others, and this is just among others. Believe me, this perceived bias undermines public confidence, and of course, it makes South Africans to just feel like maybe this particular issue is not going to even come to an end. Well, the public reaction to Zuma Zambula's comments has been mixed. Some people agree with her. Why some people feel like maybe she's just being too flippant and maybe she's trying to like poke her nose where it's not supposed to be. Well, I don't know about you all, but I strongly feel like this particular controversy highlights deep-seated issues within South Africa's prosecutorial system. The NPA now faces the challenge 
of proving its capability and impartiality in the eyes of a skeptical public. Well, what is your take concerning this whole issue? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section because right now, so many people are actually like so concerned about how this particular case is going to turn out to be. So please drop your thoughts in the comment section. And yeah, do not forget to subscribe if you're stopping for the very first time and if you haven't subscribed already.